Dear students, now we are going to solve one important problem in maximum power transfer theorem. Find the value of load resistor R that will receive the maximum power in the given circuit. So this is the given circuit. We are going to find out this load resistor R with the condition maximum power is received. Okay. So here we can use maximum power transfer theorem with the condition the load resistor is equal to the internal resistance of the given circuit. So here we can mention this internal resistance of the circuit as a thevenance equivalent resistance. So for that first we have to find out the thevenance equivalent resistance, thevenance voltage and then draw the thevenance equivalent circuit okay so here we can draw this thevenin's equivalent circuit with the value vth and rth then we can equate this rl is equal to rth so in that condition we can get the maximum power okay so here do you all understand this concept then we can find out the maximum power delivered to this low resistor do you all understand this concept? So here in the first step we are going to find out the thevenin's equivalent resistance that is RTH. So here the condition is what? To remove the load resistor. So we are going to remove this load resistor. We can consider this point as AB terminals. Okay this one is A, this one is B. Okay. So here we are going to remove this load resistor and then short circuit the voltage source in the given circuit. So here this circuit can be drawn like this to find out the thevenance equivalent resistance. So we are going to remove the load resistor and then short circuit the voltage source. This is the simplified circuit to find out the equivalent resistance. So here we are going to find out the total internal resistance for this circuit. So here these two resistors are in parallel and these two resistors are in parallel. Okay because both the ends are connected here and these two parallel combinations are connected in series. So here this diagram can be drawn like this. Here 5.2 ohm is in parallel with 7.1 ohm. So similarly here 10.9 ohm is in parallel with 19.6 ohm. Do you all understand this one? Then we can solve this value and then this value. Then this two combination is in series. Okay. So here we can consider this 5.2 ohm in parallel with 7.1 ohm. That can be written like this. What is parallel formula? That is R1 multiplied with R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So here we can consider this one as R1 in parallel with R2. Then we can write 5.2 multiplied with 7.1 divided by 5.2 plus 7.1. Then we can get the value 36.92 divided by 12.3. The answer is 3 ohm. Do you all understand this one? So this parallel combination is nothing but 3 ohm. Oh. Similarly, we can find out this parallel combination that is 10.9 in parallel with 19.6. So here 10.9 multiplied with 19.6 divided by 10.9 plus 19.6. The answer is 7 ohm. Oh. So this value is 7 ohm. Oh. We can simply draw like this 3 ohm oh in series with 7 ohm. Oh. So series means we can simply add these two values. We can get the thevenance resistance value as 10 ohm. Okay. Next we are going to find out the thevenance voltage. So for that we have to simply remove the load resistor in this circuit. So here we are simply removing this load resistor and consider the terminals AB. We are going to find out the thevenance voltage between the terminals a, B. So here we can have the two resistors in series in between this A and B terminals. 
one is 7.1 ohm the another one is 19.6 ohm so here this thevenin's voltage is equal to the sum of the voltage drop across this 7.1 ohm and then the voltage drop across this 19.6 ohm do you all understand this one so here we are going to find out the thevenin's voltage across this points a and b so for that we can take only these two resistors which are connected in series in series voltage is getting divided okay so here we can say the thevenin's voltage is equal to voltage drop across 7.1 ohm plus voltage drop across 19.6 ohm so for getting the voltage drop across the 7.1 ohm we need to have the current flowing through that similarly for this 19.6 so we are going to find out i1 and i2 currents by using kvl that is kirchhoff's voltage law okay so here we can consider two loops one is with the current i1 the next one is i2 so current is flowing from negative to positive we can consider the direction like this okay so first we are going to apply kirchhoff's voltage law to this loop one so what is kirchhoff's voltage law it states that the algebraic sum of voltage drops is equal to the algebraic sum of the voltage rises in the closed path simply we can say the sum of all the voltages in the closed path is equal to zero okay so here we are going to apply kvl to this loop one voltage rise is the source value 100 volt and voltage drop means r into i1 so r is 5.2 i1 plus here 7.1 i1 is equal to 100 we can get 5.2 i1 plus 7.1 i1 is equal to 100 simply we can add these two values so 12.3 i1 is equal to 100 then we can get the value of this i1 by moving this 12.3 to this side so here we can get i1 is equal to 8.13 ampere do you all understand this one so similarly we can get the i2 value for that apply kvl to this loop 2 so here i2 is flowing in this direction minus 2 plus so here we can consider this two drops that is 10.9 multiplied with i2 plus 19.6 i2 is equal to the voltage rise 100 okay so here we can get 10.9 plus 19.6 30.5 i2 is equal to 100 we can get i2 value as 3.28 ampere now we have obtained the i2 and i1 values after that we can find out the voltage drop across the 7.1 ohm and 19.6 ohm so simply we can get this voltage drop is equal to 7.1 multiplied with i1 then 7.1 multiplied with 8.13 the answer is 57.723 volt so next the voltage drop across this 19.6 ohm that is equal to 19.6 into i2 i2 value is 3.28 then we can get this voltage drop across 19.6 ohm is 64.3 volt so here in the circuit one resistor is here another resistor is here so we are going to find out the voltage across these two points so here we can see the symbol is minus 2 plus here it is minus 2 plus both are in opposite direction correct so we are going to take the difference between these two values so here we can get 6.6 volt do you all understand this one next we are going to draw the thevenin's equivalent circuit with the values thevenin's voltage 6.6 .6 volt thevenin's resistance as 10 ohm so here for maximum power transfer what is the condition the load resistor is equal to the thevenin's equivalent resistance so here we can say the load resistor value is 10 ohm this is very important point for maximum power transfer the load resistor is always equal to the internal resistance okay so after getting this load resistance values as 10 ohm we are going to calculate 
the maximum power. The maximum power formula is Vth square divided by 4 into Rth. Okay. So here we can simply substitute the Thevenin's voltage is 6.6 .6, the whole square divided by 4 into Rth value is 10. Then we can get the answer as 1.089. So that can be written as 1.1 watts. Do you all understand this step?